Hi, everybody. Welcome to TCM Time. That's traditional Chinese medicine with me, Kathy Young. Everybody, welcome back to White Crane Kung Fu. We're going to get ready to do the White Crane Soft Qigong. Qi remembers the energy that flows through your body. Gong means that cultivation, that study and practice. So this is a very simple routine and we're gonna take about 10 minutes to do this routine. This is one of my favorite and one of the most best exercises that helped my own Kung Fu change to another level. So let's begin. You're gonna start from the waist, come to the middle section, the solar plexus, and then come to the chest and then arms. So each time, each movement, we'll do about 10 repetitions. So let's start by having your toes point forward, about one fist wider than your shoulders or one palm. Just like you're riding a horse, the horse stance. And you're gonna sit down a little bit with your tailbone tucked in, not over tucked, but just tucked in, not sticking out, just almost straight with your spine. This helps the chi to flow better. Good. So we're going to start by circling the waist, just like a hula hoop. And it helps to have one finger or one hand touching at your lower dantian, that's about two fingers below your belly button, that's your energy center and your physical center. The better you can connect to your center, the more freedom in your movements. The other hand, sometimes I like to put in the lower back around the height of the elbow. This is where a very vital point called the Ming Men, the life gate between your lumbar two and lumbar three. Anytime you need more energy, when you make this round shape, it opens that gate and it allows more energy to circulate. So let's bring one hand on the lower dantian, the energy center, and one on the life gate, the mingmen. And let's just take, see if you can close your eyes and take three deep breaths connecting with this center point between these two hands. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Continue at your own pace. One more deep breath. And let's slowly open our eyes. That is your energy center, like a mother holding a baby in her womb. Anytime you feel anxious or your energies in disarray, anchor that energy back to the center. So as we go through these movements, keep feeling that center. Let's start with gentle circles. You can start with small circles to relax and slowly widen it to increase the flexibility and strength. 10 times at your own pace.
continue with that same circle and we're gonna slightly turn to the right side. So your right will be on that side and I'm turning to my right. See how that increases the flexibility of your hips. Keeping that same circle, turn back to center and other side. Keeping your toes point forward towards me and feel that twist, gentle twist in your ankles, knees and hips. Anytime you gently twist, it helps increase your blood and chi circulation. Very nice, back to center and slowly make your circle smaller and smaller. When it's smaller, your muscles are relaxed and the chi flows stronger. And slowly come back to your center and then slowly change directions. Start small and slowly stretch wider. As you're circling, pay attention to your head. Remember, we want to align it with that heaven chi or the sky. Almost lift up the top of your head like a puppet string. That helps everything else relax and stay soft. Gently turn to the side and just make sure your head is not leaning, but stay upright. Keeping the same direction back to center and other side. Very nice, back to the center and slowly make your circle smaller and smaller. Let your muscles relax. Very nice. And reconnect with that center, the Tantian, the elixir field. 
your energy center and bring your back hand to the front, touching now your solar plexus, where a lot of nerves gather, right about where my zipper line ends. Here, as you tap down the center of your chest, the first soft point you feel. And gently bend from this center. You are working on one of your first bows, the bow and arrow, the spine bow. From the side view, it looks like you're just gently bending forward, but tucking in the tailbone, creating a round back. You are gently massaging your stomach, organ, and intestines. Slowly keeping the same movement, turn to your right on that side, and I'm gonna to turn to my right. We're massaging now the liver and gallbladder organs. They help to keep our blood clean and digest properly. Gently squeeze like you're squeezing out a sponge and lift up your shoulders, opening the hips for that stretch, squeeze and stretch. the same movement, turning from your Dantian energy, physical center, other side on your left. You are now massaging your spleen organ. Your spleen organ is the assistant chef of the main chef. Your stomach is the main chef, digesting your food. Spleen converts it to chi, energy, and blood. Squeeze and stretch. Slowly, let's come to the center. And we're going to take it up to the upper level. So now we're going to touch from the solar plexus, come up to your chest. And see how this connects. Opening that chest for your lungs and your heart to breathe better, to increase your blood circulation. Use your elbows, widen your wings, your baby wings of the crane. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. From the side view, I'm feeling each one of my vertebrae all the way up to the chest and close. You are working on your second major bow, bow and arrow, the chest bow, the horizontal power.
keeping that same movement with like your baby wings of the elbows and turn to your right, helping the right side of your lungs connect with your liver organ. That helps for people who have cough, asthma, allergies, and skin issues. Harmonize that liver and lungs. Back to the center, other side, left side for the spleen and lung harmony. This helps with people who build a lot of mucus or phlegm in the body. Phlegm can become the cysts and hardening inside the body. So let's keep that soft and circulating. Good, slowly bring your baby wings back to the center. And we're going to grow our arms out like the big wings, it's grown and mature. Open up so it stretches all the way to your fingertips. And you're going to fly, open your wings and bring them, flap them forward. You're helping your organ channels that flow to the hands, like your heart and your lungs. See if you can add in this twist of the pinky and thumbs and then untwist, palm up and twist, palm down and palm up. You're helping the chi and blood flow to your extremities for anybody who has cold hands and feet, for nail problems in your nails and arthritis, help that chi to flow. You are using your other two bows and bows and arrow, the arm bows, open and close. Very nice, I'm seeing very beautiful birds in the crowd in our flock. Let's fly a little to the right. Keeping the head upright, fly tall and strong. Very nice. And slowly fly to your left. See if you can feel this softness. It goes tense, lift, but then relax, soft, tense, soft, tense, soft, all the way till you reach your fingertips. From shoulder, slight tension as you lift, but then release it. Tense the elbow area, then release it to the wrist and release that tension. Good, you're doing such a great job. Let's lie back to the center. 
we're finishing with the last part of the set, the exercise. Turn into single wing. We're going to fly with a twist. You're going to fly and twist your whole body like you're maneuvering in the sky. Feel connected to your dantian, your center, and feel connected to your legs. You're using your last two bows, the leg bows. Gently store, twist and release. Store and release. Every time you're twisting and bending forward, you're massaging your kidneys. This is important for building a strong back that supports your body weight. This is important for your bones and also for clean, cleaning your body water. So anybody who can get kidney stones, keep massaging your kidneys. This helps you for a long life. Good, let's fly on the other side. Change your other hand to the dantian. Other hand twists across your body, massaging the other kidney. Good, continue to feel your legs. Kidney channel flows all the way from bottom of your feet up to your chest. Good, you're flying so beautifully. Let's finish with a grand finale. You're gonna alternate left and right. Use your waist, use your legs. Good, and just take the last minute and feel free to move around your own room. Fly any way you want. <laughs> this is well something I'm adding in from the five animal sports, Chico. Just let your wings spread and fly. And slowly, let's fly back to our landing. And let's flap and slowly land. Graceful landing, full of control. Yay, super job, everybody. Give yourself a big white cream hug. Yay, this is one of the best exercises you can do for yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. And let's bring it in. Let's fly, I'm so happy flying with you, my flock. Let's give a white crane hug to each other. Awesome job. So this is, this is a very simple exercise. When I was in my teenage years, in the beginning, it didn't, I didn't like this exercise. My body was stiff, and each part of the movement, I could feel my body just aching, <laughs> aching and hard, very tense. So it almost like crunches through the spine. But the key is repetition. I did that one summer. It was the summer of three months. 
And I just took 10 minutes every day. I played music because I like listening to music as I'm doing the movement. And just 10 minutes every day, it really changed my whole martial arts, the feeling of it. Remember, this connects your spine and that connects your mind and body through the nerves. The feeling of my movements changed. And that's what I hope that you can get is the feeling. So I encourage you to keep repeating this training 10 minutes a day or 10 repetitions of each move. And I trust you will feel amazing health benefits, not only for your mind, body, but also your soul.